to create effective color in the garden in the summer, namely by using annuals, for example, in patients. But as summer ends and colors start to fade, there are many examples that we can use of perennials and shrubs that will give us very distinct fall colors. And in this garden, I'm going to show you some very good examples of those perennials and shrubs. On a gray fall day like today, you can really appreciate the need to create color in the garden. And you can create some really great effects using some of these perennials. The first is a purple coneflower and black-eyed Susan. These are both of the echinacea family and uh, are very easy to grow and quite dependable. Uh, also, is, another is an aster. This is a very popular perennial and can create a very bold effect. And uh, also a sedum. This is a sedum autumn joy. Very easy to grow, drought tolerant perennial and uh, flowers quite well from late September up until about the end of October. Also, there are a number of really popular ornamental grasses. These are also uh, fairly new on the market, but also very uh, dependable and can create some really nice fall effects with their, uh, with their feathery plumes. Again, they go well with some asters, in addition to uh, some flowering cabbage and kale. Now, my grandmother always referred to this as Christmas cabbage, and the reason for that is that the colors actually intensify as the weather gets colder. And right up until the end of the year. We've also created some contrast with that using some what are called lamb's ears. These are a very distinct gray color. And uh, with regard to later in the season as well, up until late November, early December, the silverleaf dogwood creates a very nice effect. When it loses its leaves, the red twigs become very, very distinct in the late fall, early winter landscape. So overall, there are a number of really interesting and easy choices that you can utilize in your garden to create an interesting fall effect.